Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys my quick recipe for spinach rolls. So, it's kind of like a spinach lasagna, but it's in the lasagna noodle rolled up. So, um, I've already pre-cooked the noodles, so to make this video go faster because I don't know how to edit. <laughs> so, what, you, what I've used is just a box of regular noodles lasagna noodles you guys can do the ones with the stripes i mean with the lines you can do it with the lines or without the lines um i use this brand because this is what i had in my cabinet so you can use whichever brand of noodles you was like um you don't really have to cook the it says to cook them for um let's see do 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 you're only supposed to cook them like a couple of minutes, like 10 minutes or whatever. I can't find how, how many minutes you're supposed to cook, to cook it on here. But you don't really have to cook them all the way because you, what you're going to do, you're going to actually put them in the oven and they can finish cooking in the oven. So you don't want to overcook them. So I like, I think these are half, halfway cooked through, almost done. So what I use, I use the whole box. And I think I may be able to get 12 out of here. So let's see. So what you're going to need is a box of lasagna noodles. I'm gonna you can use uh, ricotta cheese or cottage cheese but I got the cottage cheese because it's a little bit more less expensive and you get it goes a lot further so I got um, this is one pound of cottage cheese depending on how, ma how many uh, lasagna how many uh, spinach rolls you want to make so I'm gonna use the cottage cheese again like I say if you want to use the ricotta you can it works the same way um, I have one egg um, you can use one or two eggs. I've already slightly beaten my egg. What you're going to do, you're going to add the egg in with the cottage cheese. Just eggs. One egg slightly beaten with the cottage cheese. Mix it up. Um, you can add a little seasoning to the... I, I usually add a little bit of seasoning to my um, cottage cheese. What I'm just going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper in. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt, which this is a new, this is a new jar, <laughs> which I thought I had used it before, but I'm going to have to open this real quick. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want. If you have Parmesan cheese, also you can add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to the mix. So I'm just going to shake just a little bit in there. Just to give it a little bit more flavor, I'm going to add just a little bit of oregano. Just because I want to. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stir that up. Stir it up real good. This is very, very, very simple. I'm just going to make the spinach rolls. If you guys want to do the actual lasagna roll, you can. You just make it just like you do a lasagna. But what you're going to do, you're just going to roll it up. I'll show you guys and make everybody their own separate little lasagna roll. So that's the mixture of the cottage cheese. One egg, slightly beaten. You can add some seasoning to it if you want. If you have some Parmesan cheese, you can throw it in there also. Um, let's see what else I got. And I have uh, the spinach. So I'm just going to use spinach in mine because I'm doing the no meat for the month of February. Thank God February is almost over. So make sure once you, this is just the, um, I just used the chop. I got this from Walmart. I just used the chopped spinach um, in the bag. You can just put it in the microwave for however many minutes to tell you according to your, um, to your microwave make sure um when you take it out it's kind of hot and some of the water will be leaking so you want to be careful with that also drain make sure that you guys drain most of the water off the spinach because once it comes out of the bag it's going to be uh it's going to be a lot of liquid in the bag i've already tried to drain a lot of the uh liquid off the spinach so that's my spinach so basically all you really need is spinach noodles cottage cheese or ricotta cheese and a dish to put it in so what i'm going to do um, i'm going to coat the bottom of my dish my glass dish here i'm going to coat, coat the bottom of it with my um tomato sauce you can use tomato sauce pasta sauce whatever kind of sauce you got i have this ragu because that's what i had in the cabinet 
<laughs> whatever your favorite brand is you can use it hold that thought i'll be right back i'm just going to coat the bottom of this so when you put it um when you put the noodles in it won't actually stick to the bottom so i'm going to coat the bottom with a little pasta sauce And you, like I say, you can use whatever pasta sauce you want. If you want to add some stuff to your pasta sauce, you can. Sometimes I add a little extra seasoning. Just going to coat the bottom of this real quick. Make sure you guys give me the thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> You're probably like, where is she? Look, I don't have a camera. I don't have a camera person with me, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> show you guys, you know, the best way I can. So there you have it. That is the bottom of the pan. The bottom of the pan is coated with my pasta sauce. I've already, let me push this back a little bit so you guys can see actually what I'm doing. I have limited counter space here <laughs> in my new apartment, which really irritates me. So. I'm trying to make do, so I'm going to show you guys if I can get my camera to steady. There we go. <laughs> so what I have is the pasta, the pasta sauce at the bottom of the dish. Um, I have my spinach ready. Um, let's see if I can turn this around. I have my spinach, and I also have the um, the cottage cheese mixture. So. For me to make it easier for me to do, I'm going to do, hold on. If you guys have, uh, I don't know why I have these little bitty cookie sheets. If you guys have a cookie sheet or some wax paper or whatever you want to use to um, to roll your, your noodles on, it'll be easier to do it that way. So all you're going to do is just going to take, take your noodles. I'm going to try to do... Um, I'm going to try to do three at a time so it'll go a little faster to show you guys exactly how it goes. My cord's in the way for me. But anyway, so all you do is take the noodles. You're just going to take the mixture of the, I think I might have a little bit too much, however much you want on it. You're going to put it. I haven't done these in a while. Hopefully it'll turn out right. Like I say, if you want to put some Parmesan cheese inside the with the cottage cheese, if you have some, you can not really necessary so just spread it out i think i got the large curds is this the large curds of the cottage cheese because usually i'll use the yeah these are the large curds so usually make sure i usually use the small apparently i wasn't paying attention i just uh grabbed the large but small works a whole lot better i haven't used the large ones in a while but you know it's gonna it's gonna turn out okay so basically, what you're going to do is you're going to, don't put too much because you're going to have to put the spinach on there and then you're going to have to try to roll it and you may get some to come out on the side, but you know, that's going to be okay. I wish I had some, <laughs> I wish I had some gloves, then I would just pick it up with my, with my hand and, and do it, put it on that way. But what I'm going to do, as you guys can see, I'm just going to put the spinach try to you know I like a lot of spinach in mine but depending on how many you making so you might want to you know I think I have enough to do the 12 I think you get like 12 or 13 um, noodles in a box so I'm gonna show you guys if you put too much of the cottage cheese on there once you roll it it's gonna ooze out on the side but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter I'm gonna use a smaller smaller spoon put the the spinach on there but it's very it's very simple and like i say if you want to try something without meat these spinach rolls are delicious but if you want to add meat you just do it just like a regular lasagna you just roll you put the the stuff on each each noodle and you'll just roll the you'll just roll the you just roll the noodle up i'll show you guys and when you roll it, make sure that the, the, the seam side is down. I'll show you guys what I mean. Once I get these on there. And you just repeat the step over and over again until you get all of your... Um, 
I should have pre-done, I should have pre-did some of them already before I started the live so you guys can see. Because I'm not going to roll them all up. I'm going to have to come back on part two and let you guys see how it actually turned turned out. But this is how, this is how it's going to look. You just put the, the noodles, you put the cottage cheese or the cottage cheese, whichever uh, filling you want. And you just lay spinach on top of it. So these are just going to be some spinach rolls. And what you're going to do, you're going to roll it. You guys see, but you take it, fold it over, and you just roll. Roll it. So you got to roll it kind of slow because, like I say, if you put too much on, once you get to the end, it'll it'll start coming out. But this is how the roll going to look. That's how the roll is. So you're going to put this, the, this side down into your baking dish. So I'll, I'll do a couple more. I'll put a little bit more spinach on this one. I'm just going to roll it. I'm going to get a start rolling it pretty pretty good. And these comes out these come out pretty pretty good. And basically all you're going to do is just I try to put them three across so I you know, you can put them you can put them closer together if you want. Like I say, you got to roll it very very slowly and very carefully. That's how it's that's how it looks. So make sure you put the the folded side down. So I'm going to come back with part two once I get um, the whole pan filled. But so far, that's how you do it. And you just go all the way down with however many um, spinach rolls you would like to make. And you're just going to put... Um, hold on, let me grab my... So once you finish... Oh, there I am. <laughs> once you guys finish doing all the... Uh, once you guys finish doing all the rolls... Cause I'm let them three six nine. I think I could probably get twelve inside of this dish. Once you finish with the rolls all the way down, you're gonna top it off with either whatever type of mozzarella cheese you have, or I have this Italian style cheese. Um, if you want, oh, you know what? I just forgot to do a step. <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> You can do it. You can do it this way, or you can do it the other way. You can actually add the mozzarella or Italian cheese into the roll if you want, or if you don't have enough, you can just put it on top. You can just put this. You can put your mozzarella or Italian cheese. You can just sprinkle it on top. Uh, make sure you guys cover it with um, aluminum foil. You put it in the oven. Because basically, the everything is done. What you're really going to do is finish cooking the noodles the rest of the way. And you're also going to melt the cheese. So make sure you once you, you finish, you put a, uh, you cover it with aluminum foil. I got my oven set to 400. Let it stay in the oven probably like 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, depending on how you like your cheese. If you like your cheese a little darker, you can let it stay in. But you don't want to cook it too long because you don't want it to be hard and rubbery. Um, and I'll come back on part two and let you guys see how it comes out. Again, that's how you do the spinach rolls. I'll show you guys real quick how you do it. If you want to actually include the cheese, um, if you actually want to put the cheese in. So again, all you're going to do is, okay, let me put this over here so you guys can see. You're going to layer it again with the cottage cheese or the ricotta cheese, which one you guys, whichever, whichever you prefer. Like, like I said, if you get the cottage cheese, make sure you get the small curds. I wasn't paying attention and I got the large curds. I guess it don't really matter, but still. And I'm gonna put, um, just fill it with spinach. However much spinach you like, if you like a little or a lot. Because you get a lot in the bag. I actually use two, depending on how many you make. I actually use two of these bags, two 12-ounce bags. So I'm sure that'll give me enough for all of my um, for all of my noodles. Again, spread it out because it does clump together the spinach. Spread it as much as, as evenly as you can. And like I say, if you want to put the cheese inside the roll, you can. So some of mine is going to have cheese on the inside and some not. So you just what you're going to do, you're just going to top it with cheese. Just a little bit of cheese and you're going to roll it. You want to get a good roll. 
see and again don't put too much because it's going to once you get to the bottom it may seep out a little bit but that's how it looks with the cheese so you can either do it put the cheese on the inside if you want I'm still going to top it off um, I'm still going to top it off when I get done with all of the rolls. I'm still going to top it off with a layer of cheese. And then I'm going to put um, just a drizzle, a little bit of uh, sauce on top to show you guys. So I will come back on part two once I'm done with all the rolls and let you guys see how it looked when I put the cheese and everything on top. So stay tuned for part two, guys. <laughs> 